The promise of research is to come up with really critically different life extended game changing therapies and then when they're effective making sure that they are applied to every child who might benefit. How often do you come in for your study? The first week we're here every day and then it was every two weeks yeah. and now it's every couple of months. So we're really seeing many, many children benefiting from new therapies that come out of clinical trials. Alessandra was born with achondroplasia. Um, basically, she's a little person. So we were asked to, um, to take part of this drug study. What is this drug supposed to do is help her bones grow. I think she's perfect just the way she is. But of course, Alessandra, she wants to be like everyone else. I hope the medicine does work. I hope that she does grow, because that's what she wants. Hi. Hi. The team is just wonderful working with her. They give us so much information and make us feel so at ease with her condition. Uh, I have to hear you. Uh. Thank you. We are a leading site for cystic fibrosis research. At any given time, I have 20 to 30 studies. We recently had a big win in a multi-center clinical trial that studies combined therapy for the most common genetic form of cystic fibrosis. And that will give a better treatment strategy to about half of people with cystic fibrosis in the world. My daughter's Ava Taylor. She's eight years old. She was diagnosed with CF at the age of um, six or seven months. We're in a very good research project. The uh, findings so far have been very positive. It's really been transformational for her from the perspective of going from being in the first percentile for weight and height to being in somewhere between the 10th and 25th percentile. And that's a, an indicator as to how well you're dealing with the issues related to CF. It's just a wonderful feeling that you can help this kid, but also lots of other kids and adults with cystic fibrosis who have not had a therapy that's so effective in the past. Our research subjects come into this because they want to help. And they know that it's not just for themselves, but for other kids. We can't be research leaders without philanthropy. We can be followers, but not leaders. To understand that, you know, there's research out there with the donations to help improve the conditions of this disease. I'm very, very grateful, yes. Without that, we wouldn't be able to extend her life. So this gives her the opportunity to live you know, as much of a normal life as you can imagine.